Hey guys, it's me again. Well, I tried to be nice. Um, or maybe I didn't try hard enough. But, you know, the King James people... I can beat all of you guys up. That's just a fact. I don't care how small I am or old I am. I can take on any of you guys. In a real fight. That's a real challenge. Anyway, um, yeah, these King James people, they act like... They're just elitists. I've said that before. And they act like, you know, God is so proud of them for having the only correct version. They ignore the fact that, you know, the real version is written in the scrolls and in the epistles. It's in Hebrew. It's in um, Greek or whatever other official language that was, it was originally written on. I'm sure there's going to be some technical guys going to tell me, no, it wasn't actually this. It was that. Whatever. So are we supposed to believe that only those who can read, you know, Shakespeare-like English are saved? And they're the only ones who have the right to preach the gospel. They're only, and if we can't properly or fully understand the King James Version, that, you know, we, we have no business preaching the gospel or teaching anybody about God. And we all have to rely on those King James people to tell us everything and to show us the light. No, I don't think so. Yes, I can beat you guys up. It's a challenge. And, um, yeah. So... You King James people only, King James only people, you guys are a bunch of loons, a bunch of elitists. Most are probably virgins, but it doesn't matter. Um, you know, God's word is preserved in spite of all of the attempts of Satan and his followers to pervert and compromise the Bible throughout the ages. I'm not saying that the King James version is a bad version, or I'm not even going to argue against whether or not, you know, their claims that it's the best version, that's fine if it's the best version. It's not the only, ver it's not the only version that's valid. You know, um, any of you guys who have quoted scripture or paraphrased it in any, in any way, you're basically disqualified according to, you know, the, the King James people's standards because unless it's King James verbatim, then, you know, it's corrupted. So even King James people can't say anything beyond what's written in the King James Bible, they can't paraphrase it, they can't teach anything, they can't expound on it. Because by their logic, any deviation from the King James Version, you know, is, you know, basically disqualifies it as a, as a valid translation. And when you're teaching someone in your own words, you know, about the Bible, then you have become your own translation. Even if you're quoting from the King's, King James Bible, if you're paraphrasing it in some way, then by definition, it's your translation and it's no longer the King James Version and it's no longer valid. So yeah, they're just, bust, they're just a bunch of elitists. It's sad that Christians always have to, or Christians always have to find a way to make themselves stand out, to be better than the next Christian because um, we're all saved by grace. We're all a bunch of sinners and we did not earn our salvation. And apparently a lot of people can't live with that. So they have to find ways to elevate themselves ab above other sinners who were saved by grace just like they were. So they try to find something that makes them feel elite. Like, you know, hey, the King James Bible, that's what I read. And it's the only Bible that counts. Everybody else is inferior to me. Th that, that's, that's what it's all about. It's, it's always about pride. And um, yep, I can beat up King James only people. Okay, until next time.